Hello once again Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Mechanics. Well today I'm really excited because these just came into our hobby shop. This of course is the long-awaited 1960 Ford F100 truck that includes a trailer. So instead of doing all the fancy stuff that I would have normally done for this video that I would have liked to do, much like my Citroen video where I got into all the detail and the history and that cool stuff, because this is new and I've got them for my store and I want you guys to see them and hopefully buy a couple from me, I'm just going to do a quick down and dirty unboxing video. The editing might suck. I don't know how it's going to go, but I want you to see this thing right now and be excited with me to see it. And then later on, I will do that big refined video where I get into the history of the car and, you know, where it drove to and whatever else that I might be doing much like the Citroen videos. But for now, this is new, so let's do this. And here we are with our AMT 1960 Ford F100 pickup truck. This is part of the Cats collection. Includes classic vintage kits, reimagined with all new tooling. So we have a deluxe 3-in-1 build-it stock custom or service truck. So you also get a full trailer. Now if I flip the box to the side, you can see the custom version. And here we have the perfect pair. Build a beautiful custom with a matching display trailer. So we got spotlights, louvers, white wall tires with chrome wheel covers, lake pipes, scallop decals, trophy. And then we've got fender skirts right in here. If I slide this along, you can also see the lug wrench, the hitch which is here, bullet tail lights right in there, toolbox, gas can, fire extinguisher, removable loading ramps, and fenders with and open wheels. Really cool stuff. And then on this side, you can see the amazing service truck. This would be the one I want to build in the golf colors. There you got the, your blue and your golf logo there, as well as the blinker on the top and the push bar button. The <laughs> bumper, not a button. Down and dirty. Ford tri-powered engine included and full color decal sheet right in here. And if you flip over onto this side and zoom in, you can see all the parts exploded on here. You do get a ton of parts. Now, like I say, this kit is going for $53 Canadian, $39.99 American. It'll all translate the same on the website anyway. But that is... I don't think that's too much of a bad price point considering you get the trailer in here as well as all these great parts. And this is 2024, the year of inflation, and everything's kind of just gone up. And uh, But your wage has gone up too, so hopefully that will help. Minimum wage has gone up. Basically, uh, with the minimum wage here, you would work four hours to get this kit. So now let's open this kit. Whoops. Not cut the edge off it. 138 parts, skill level 2 for ages 14 and up. But you know, for us in Generation X, we were building these when we were 8, weren't we now? <laughs> All right, let's just crank this thing. Take off la plastique, the single use plastic bag. <laughs> anyway. Okay, uh, where to put the lid? All right, how about there? Check out this. First you get a chrome parts tree. Look at that nice uh, front grill in there. You can grind this out in the back just to open up the grill so you can see through it. Custom grills, nice cool chrome details. The light pipes, you even got the uh, script molded here on the side with arrows. Okay, white plastic parts. We have the trailer, it looks like, with all the nice side ramps. The tires this time are a bit different. They've got this sort of ridge around them, and you just pop the rubber tire on the top. It's not like the nice two-piece wheel that goes together. Okay, so there we've got our, our dome and the tail lights, as well as our window glass and the headlights. Maybe I should move this out of the way here. There we go. You can kind of see it better. I am not going to take this stuff out of the bag. I refuse. No, maybe I will. I don't know. So there we've got more of our wheels. We also have the engine here. All right, let's see. We are going down and dirty. <laughs> okay. All right, now let's talk about this. There, we've got a lot of cool bits. Looks like an auxiliary battery in here for the service truck, as well as a battery that would go in under the hood. There's our radiator, toolbox, fire extinguisher, 
separate hose in here. There's the top of the engine and the engine sides. Everything seems to be molded in it. Look at those nice uh, gas fuel tanks right there. We also have firewall with dual master cylinders for the brakes. One for the front, one for the back. There's the louvers. You can put those anywhere. You can put them on another car if you want. <laughs> anywhere where. Okay, there we have our wheels again. And the circle of wheels and then these tabs. The tire mounts in onto those tabs. All right, what do we got next here? We've got the pickup body. Again, really cool looking work in here, actually. It's got a script right above the door handles. And uh, a little bit smooth inside here. I don't know if any of you actually owned a 60 Ford truck. Is it that smooth in there? Let us know. There's the roof. Don't see too many mold marks. Oh yeah, okay, I do. Never mind. But anyway, those can always be cleaned up. Here we have the, the bed. And look at that nice big Ford lettering in the back. This is actually really cool. Really utilitarian looking. Put the two together and what do you get? You get that. And look at that. C'est magnifique. For those of you watching in Quebec. Quebec. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just carry on. Oh, I guess I don't need to open this. It's pretty clear through the bag. So, whoop, there goes my lamp. Here we have the stock kind of hubcaps. They're not really stock though, they are custom. Look at those slotted wheels. Those are really nice. Got the trophy and the tricarbs as well as fire extinguisher and horns. Valve covers that are chromed up. There's the lug wrench in chrome as well as the not sure what that is. That, that is pretty cool though. Our instructions will show us. Okay. Yep. We got our white wall tires there with the metal axles. We've got three. We've also got our trailer tires on the back which are quite different. So again really cool cool stuff. Cool daddy -o. Joe Cool is back in school. He's making the rounds in there, drinking at the water fountain. I didn't actually see that one. It's from 72, Snoopy going to school. Don't even know what the title of the that movie was. It's the great school, Charlie Brown. I don't know. Anyway, look at that undercarriage. Now remember I did have those original instructions and I was showing everybody what this was back a long time ago. And this definitely does look like it's come right out of that same old instruction sheet from the original that came out in the early 60s. Again, really well detailed though. Here we have the fender skirts and the tonneau cover and the truck bed. Turning them over you can see the detail of the truck bed. Tonneau cover is pretty flat. Very much like the fender skirts, but again, once this all goes together, it'll look great. And you could put a big decal right in here, sort of uh, like George Barris a la carte, kind of uh, the wild cat truck, whatever, you know, <laughs> the wild cat, I think it's called. Anyway, there's our interior, and that is really cool. The seat actually slots in, much like a real seat, into these uh, little boxes. You got some nice door handle detail in here, a little bit mild as it was. Hinges for the hood, and the hood's got sink marks. Gonna have to correct those. I've never actually had this truck before. It's cool they opened this up in here. You can see my fingers moving across in that open area. Really neat. It's got a peg and post so to mount onto that chassis really nicely. The dashboard is pretty cool. Don't know if you guys can see this too well. But you got your instrument panel right in there, and it's quite smooth along there. The seat has a nice texture in it, very much like the 60 Ford pickup truck it represents in the real world. So now let's move this along. And what do we got? A decal sheet. So we have two sets of instructions. One is for the trailer and one is for the truck. So in my down and dirty kind of way here, you're going to hear some noises. So put this up in the box. So this is what happens when you try to do it on one take. Got, yeah, two chrome parts trees, okay. 
body and stuff back in there. Back in the box. And somewhere to put this off camera. There we go. All right, now let's move around the components and check out these instructions. So here we go with the instructions. Read this before you begin. All right, let's read everybody. Okay, anyway. Kit may be built in more than one ways. Look over the instruction sheet carefully and decide how you're gonna do this. That's basically what it says. I know, because I'm smart. All right, we have the engine. Now check this out. Note, rad hose shown for location only. Install and final assembly, which is right there. So two pieces, left and right hand side, and then this whole thing drops down, a la Johan, for those that remember. And then we have our valve covers, left and right hand side, as well as triple chrome carbs dropping in. We have our headers, and it, it almost looks like they would, when this intake manifold goes down, they would slot into the cylinder heads underneath. That is yet to be seen when I do the professional video where I build this thing. So we got the generator here and our fan belt and pulleys, as well as the fan. Jump over to panel two for our interior. Note, rear view mirror can be installed on dash or in roof of cab. Oh, I'm going to get the <laughs> the heater coming up here. Get ready for the thunder. So here we have the dashboard and the mirror going in or up on the top. You also have these optional gauges underneath the bench seat dropping into the interior bucket, fire extinguisher, floor shift, steering column, and the optional tack. And this is very much a Johan thing again. It's got the little tack up there, the hole, and the side markers, as well as the steering wheel. Pardon the heater going on here. So panel three is our chassis and wheels. So there's the chassis and you got the axle blocks with two holes for uh, lowered or raised. And here's the front of the thing with the axle blocks going in as well and the engine dropping in the chassis. And then you have your choice on the wheels. So the custom Astro wheels with the holes in them, the stock wheels, and then you've got your hubcap for the stock or the custom one going in place and the inner wheel. Oh, so it does kind of pancake together. That's pretty cool. Now we'll just slip up into panel four and here you got the cab and the firewall goes into place. There's the battery going on the firewall as well as the radiator dropping in the front body, body, body panel. <laughs> then we have our glass front and back and your choice of putting the mirror up here if you wish. Slip over to panel five and we got the body interior to chassis. There you got the body going down on the interior to the chassis, the floor pan of the bed being put in, as well as the rear bed itself. Now I may be wrong, but I think originally this was one piece on the old instructions. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Better to have it in two pieces. And here we have the final assembly for stock. So there's those side bits going into the holes on the hood. And we got the insignia going on the front of the hood. Here we have our front grille with the two clear headlights and the bumper. Then we've got our side mirrors as well as in the back here. You've got the stock taillights popping in place, the license plate, and the rear bumper. And then your optional hitch for that trailer. Flipping over to the service truck, we have the, everything assembled. So we've got these air horns, which is service truck, the flasher pat, uh, base and then the flasher unit and the dome. Here we have the fire extinguisher and it also has a bracket to hold it in place. Uh, C stock assembly for rear bumper, trailer hitch and taillight installation. And then down here we've got our toolboxes going together. Ah, oh, that's what that funny thing is. It's the front of the trophy. Then we have the gas and oil cans, a battery, a torque wrench. This is much like the one that I found in the video the, the where I'm looking at my tools. It's the kind where you pull the handle and the little needle bends and then it tells you how much torque is in there. And we also have our lug wrench in here. Then we get into the custom. A lot of you guys will love doing this. You add in the custom grill bars right on top of the stock grill and some louvers. So this is really like right out of the 60s, the way they do it. There's those Astro wheels. And uh, you can also put in those custom hubcaps if you want to go more traditional 60s instead of sort of later 70s look, I don't know. The bullet tail lamps in the back for the custom, the rear bumper and the license plate, they put your fender skirts on. 
you got the option of the lake pipes and the upright lake pipes or maybe you could do a combination of two have this come across with the muffler upright leg pipes you also get the tonneau cover down here the aerial and the spotlights now these are optional and i think you can drill holes anywhere in the body put them in lots of cool custom stuff back in the day all right second instruction sheet is our trailer base display so this is a one piece so we can just zoom back 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 <laughs> okay there it is. So we got our custom trailer. Look at the pieces. You got the bottom. Now I, I have some of this from the original trailer. Not much of it left. So here we got the axle with the springs and the fenders. There's our wheels going in place. The optional slick hubcaps again. And ramps and trailer floor. Looks like you could almost paint diamonds on here. It'd be kind of cool. Maybe those are the decals. I don't know. We'll find out. And then you got the sides with a plaque and the tailgate and storage for your ramps as well as the hook tongue to trailer hitch with hitch pin so again really cool all right so i let the furnace shut off and i went upstairs and shut it off so it won't come back on again while i'm filming this because that's really annoying here we have the decal sheet and check that out road service decals there's the golf ones we also have the golf with the checkered race flag on there there's those cool scallops for on the side of the truck then we also have champion as a sponsor and something i can't read from here but it's got a u on it we do have some gauges and a tachometer gauge so that's really cool we also have this for the front push button there we've got our moon eyes as well as the ah what's his name but it's the the robin with the cigar is it clay smith let me know in the comments if I goof that up. There's the STP logo as well as Ray's Automotive. So a lot of cool sort of fantasy stuff you could do with this. And uh, display it with your drag racers. That trailer will be good for the drag racers. And if you pull the wheels off, that counts as a display stand. So again, really cool. But basically, let me know in the comments down below how you would build this model. And uh, that's about all I have for here. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that video, and if you want to pick up one of these great model car kits, check us out at www.monster-hobbies.ca, where you can pick up one of these great things. Just go in the search engine and type in Ford, or actually go 1960 Ford F100. See what you get. Anyway, it's listed in Canadian and uh this ends up being $54 in Canadian, but it's $39.99 US. And we can also ship it. So, you know, look into that when you're on the website. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was down and dirty and kind of raw, but uh, ah, that's just the way it is for today. So anyway, like, subscribe and all that stuff. And we'll see you when I unbox the 1963 Ford F100 which should be coming up pretty soon on this channel. So anyway, have a good night, and we'll talk to you soon.